So today's video is going to be my updated everyday makeup routine. So this is how I tend to do my makeup on an everyday basis if I'm not going to work. If I am going to work then I probably use like half of the products in this video because at half six in the morning I can barely open my eyes let alone put makeup on them. So yeah. So I think this look is quite good for spring and summer so great for the current month and upcoming months and all that good stuff. So as you are all probably aware I am not a makeup artist, I am not very good at doing makeup and this video kind of turned into like a everyday makeup routine fail because everything was going wrong so please don't take any advice from anything I've done in this video but feel free to laugh at me. So if you'd like to see how I make my face look like this go ahead and keep watching and I hope you enjoy it. Yay! So here I am with absolutely no makeup on ready to get started, don't know what that face was all about, but let's go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation in the shade Ivory, dot that over my face and blend it in using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So it was at this point that I realized I forgot to prime my skin, which not gonna lie, happens on a regular basis, so I usually tend to forget, but if I do remember, I will use my Bourjois Happy Light Serum. So now moving on to concealer, this bit I did remember to do. I'm taking my Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer and popping that under my eyes and blending it in with my finger. And then I'm just taking my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and popping that on any red bits on my face or just wherever I fancy. And again, I'm blending that in with my finger because I can't be bothered with brushes really. So now I'm just taking this cream blush by Bourjois in the shade Nude Velvet. I haven't actually used this many times so I'm still getting used to it and it came out a little bit orange. So I'm just taking the Real Techniques Buffing Brush to blend it in a little bit so I don't look like I've just been punched in the cheek. Now I'm going to set my makeup into place using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and the Real Techniques Powder Brush. Now I'm just taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer and I can't open it, tends to be a problem. There we go. And I'm just going to use the Real Techniques Contour Brush to contour my cheeks to make it look like I have cheekbones. Yay! Now I'm just taking this number seven cream highlighter and popping that on the tops of my cheeks to highlight them and I'm also going to put a bit down my nose because people tend to do that and it looks good so I'm going to do it too. Yeah. So now it's time for eyebrows. I am not very good at doing my eyebrows. Take no notice of what I'm doing in the next bit because I'm awful at it. So I'm just taking my Soap and Glory Archery Brow Pen and using the felt tip bit, I am just gonna draw some lines on my eyebrows and hope that they look right. I'm really bad at doing my eyebrows. I don't fill them in very much because I just, I don't know what I'm doing. So again, ignore this bit. Then I'm taking my Benefits Gimme Brow and putting that on my eyebrows to set them into place. Sometimes if I'm feeling lazy I will just use this on its own and it's great. Ta-da! Eyebrows done! Kind of, not very well, yeah. Now I'm just taking my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and putting that on my eyelids to get rid of any discoloration. So now I'm just taking my Bourjois Colour Band Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Rose for Viste and I'm just drawing that a bit on my eyelids and smudging it in with my finger again. So that's just what I'm doing here, this is a really pretty rose gold colour. Now for the bit that I dread the most, it's time to do my eyeliner. This usually goes horribly wrong and I'm using the Super Cat Liner by Soap and Glory. So today was no exception, it went horribly wrong as always and I ended up cutting out about 10 minutes of footage of me trying to fix it. Here I am throwing a tantrum because it just, it just never goes well. But here I am after 10 minutes of having a go at sewing it out, it's finally worked so I'm happy. And now it's time to reward myself with a snack break because I've finally done my eyeliner, yay! 
So now I'm realising I've left my eyelash curlers on the other side of my room and that's really annoying, I can't be bothered to move so I'm curling them with my fingers. I'm joking, don't actually do that, it doesn't work, I'm just joking. Now I'm taking my mascaras, the first one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm popping that on my top lashes. Super happy that I didn't get this anywhere, it's about the one thing that went right so good on me. Now I'm taking my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara and popping that on my bottom lashes. This bit didn't go so well though. Not sure why because it's such a tiny wand, usually it goes really well. But it's okay, we sorted it out, yay! So now I like to soften my lips ready for my lipstick. This is the Burt's Bees Lip Balm and I'm gonna put it on my lips because that's what you do with lip balm. So I couldn't decide which lipstick to choose, I've been using both of these lately so this is me choosing which one to use. And I decided to go for that one. This is the Rimmel Colour Rush Lip Balm in the shade Give Me A Cuddle and I'm just popping that on my lips. And that's the finished look! Hooray! My makeup's done, I look a little better than I did before. so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and i will see you next week bye i never want to put makeup on again that was impossible don't really go much anywhere thumbs is up literally literally fell i'm actually sat on six cushions so it's not surprising that i fell like literally got three here but, yeah. Yeah.